the big reveal. This has been sitting in here for uh, 24 hours and since we put it in, you can see, we've had a little bit of snow, which has quickly turned to ice because it's, it's about minus five now, Celsius. Ooh, I'm excited, let's see. What does it look like? Actually, it looks pretty good already. You can see already it's, it's taken off a lot of that stuff, which is really wow. good. Uh, and see, by comparison, there's, uh, yeah, it, it'll look more spectacular when I dry it out. It's come up quite well. You can see the big rust has come off, and now it's just the, uh, yeah, sort of lighter stuff, which we can sand down manually. Um, actually, in there looks really, really good now. Um, but, you know, as I started to say before, we probably did this a little bit back to front. We, we should have pulled it apart. But it's easier, you couldn't have taken the screws out. Now you can probably take the screws out and see what's inside and maybe put um, into your magic liquid again. Yeah, well, like of course, another you know, 24 hours. The, other, the other benefit of doing it this way is that any of the powdery rust that would have ended up coming off and being spread through. So what about this one? Hold on, let me just see. Is this rust? Yeah, that's on rust. Yeah, so okay. that's the paint and it's been scratched and the water's oh, got right, in there and okay, rust. Yeah. So that will be, the whole thing will be, you know, black in the, in the end. Yeah. But and uh, then yeah. I can decide what to do, whether I want to paint it or yeah. leave it as authentically black as it is. Exactly, in which case we could just give it a coat of something to seal that, you know, rusty look the way that it is and it won't rust anymore. Um, but yeah, I think the next step now is to take it upstairs, take it apart, um, see what bits need to go into the liquid again. I bought a new container of Metal Rescue, I'll show you that in a second. Got to stop for a drink every now and then, man needs <laughs> sustenance. Right, so, uh, yeah, you can see that that needs more time in the fresh um, metal rescue, so... Yeah, this one has quite <clears throat> a bit of rust on it. All of these pieces will go back I'm in sorry. and we'll soak them again in the clean yeah. new batch of metal rescue and even you know, springs in pretty good shape, but we'll just, we'll soak everything. Can I see what's inside? Yeah, not much. It's just you can see that there's, um, the pattern of the, the grind is, is uh, mirrored to that pattern and so like you were saying before when you have it you know fine grind then it's close to mm -hmm. and it grinds like that or coarse grind it sits out a bit further and does the same thing turns around and grinds the beans so they <clears throat> come in this part they get ground there and then they come out that slot so it's a very small slot and that's all kept into place by that metal plate which again is um it needs more it so needs more rust removing yeah and we can actually sand that back and we can give that a, a fresh coat of uh, black paint mm -hmm. um you know if you want to leave this uh, as authentic as possible then you know that might be okay like that and so this is um this is a cup that came off a similar um design coffee grinder, um, a catcher cup. Uh, it kind of fits in there okay, but as you can see, it's quite short. So, um, to be honest, finding these glass pieces, both the bottom and the top, um, that's the, the challenging part. So maybe rather than, um, you know, rather than sticking to trying to find the exact piece, this bar we could actually adjust so that the cup sits up a bit higher so we can raise that piece there the top section though is a little bit more specific it's got to be the right size it's got to be the right thread so that it screws in properly you can see there's a little bit of a, a thread thing there that it screws into so yeah that's going to be the real challenge in this project is to find the top glass 
Well, maybe we'll go to Columbia in Pennsylvania. Remember those oh, yeah. beautiful antique stores we saw there? Columbia is this um, really lovely um, old town which is on the banks of the Susquehanna River in um, Pennsylvania. And um, it, uh, yeah, it's, it's the home of about six or seven very large antique stores that are full of this kind of stuff. Okay, so now it's just a matter of um, bagging all the bits up to keep them together. And then in the morning, we will take them downstairs <coughs> and drop them in our magic liquid. So now Rossi will show us what this magic liquid looks like when you receive it new. So this is the, uh, the new tub of the uh, stuff I now uh, apparently can't live without. And as I showed you, you, you've seen how black the other liquid is that we have used over and over and over, but it's still effective even though it's, you know, uh, been used many times over. <laughs> this. And this is not advertising. No, no. This is there are other brands that we don't know about that may exist. However, Metal, metal Rescue is what we're using. This is the one that I've chosen to use. Yep. There's another one called Evapo Rust, which okay. apparently is pretty good. But another thing I like about this one is the formula in this one is a little bit different. So with the Vapor Rust, you can soak things, but I believe you have to rinse them afterwards. Uh, it's you know, oh, not wow. entirely necessary for you to do that with a Metal Rescue. Well, it's I like haven't. water. Well, it looks like it's water, but it's yeah. not. Yeah. I mean, if you compare it with what's in that bucket you have there, yeah. and this is what's in the bucket. Thanks to all the rust. It's all completely black. Now we're going to put the uh, pieces of the coffee grinder into the new magic liquid, as Masha refers to it. <laughs> See, nice and clean. So, put that piece in there. Yep. And the wooden handle. Now we can drop this in here because I didn't. I was a bit reluctant to put that handle in the old liquid because it was so filthy. I didn't want the dirt or the rust to stain the handle. So now it's okay. And yes, this stuff is completely safe on. Um, wood and painted surfaces and plastics and everything. I reckon they should pay you a commission for promoting their brand. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, maybe I should just call it Magic Liquid instead of giving them a free plug every time. Unless, yeah, of course, they see this and they go, <laughs> oh, gosh, thank you, know, you, Ross. you have so many followers. We just want to... Yeah, thank you, Kimarama, and thank you all your 21 followers. <laughs> <laughs> we want to reward you with a lifetime supply of... <laughs> we can't say the name because we're not getting sponsored yet. No, that's it. That's it, Hank. Uh, are we likely to get sponsored? Yet. <laughs> right. So that's it. They're all okay. in there. Um, okay. This wait. piece is annoyingly too big. But anyway, so we've got the worst bits oh, covered. Oh, do it the other way around because that piece was in the, um, I mean, upside down. Yeah, just put it here like that. Yeah. Okay. I think. Yeah, I don't know. We'll probably just have to turn it anyway. Uh, but yeah, okay. So we'll come back and revisit these pieces tomorrow. It's Christmas Eve and we're checking. Look at it. Ooh, wow. So it went from clear. It did go from completely clear to all this black. Wow. That is the rust that's been okay. beaten off. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. That did it really well. You just need to um, need to dry them off now. Yeah. <sighs> look at that. Wow, oh my goodness. Fabulous. How really beautiful good. is that? I actually like the old uh, metal look coming through. Yeah, it might not uh, need any painting actually. No, I don't think so. I think it would be a shame to change it. That 
came out fairly well as, as well. See. Look at that, no rust at all. Yeah. See, I think the other batch that I had was just too old and it lost its potency. Okay. Well, that's nice too. The other piece of the inside mm -hmm. that can stay out. That's wonderful. Oh gosh, that piece too. Look at that. That's really nice. I need some ho, 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 ho. wiping. That came up really well. Look at this. Yeah, I'll get yeah. you some paper. Oh yeah, this did. Ah, you can actually and that see. Too. Look, that's beautiful too. Everything. And the spring. So we'll leave that other um, piece in there because remember it didn't fit under the Oh, yeah. Liquid and there's a piece left. Can I see what it looks like now? So that's. Oh, yeah. You can see that's the, the rust. That, yeah. So there's still that's rust the, on that because yeah. it wasn't in the liquid and this stuff's been in the liquid. Yeah, yeah. That's just awesome. So, stage one of the uh, uh, restoration of the coffee grinder is finished. And uh, now we just have to wait for the last part of it to de rust. And guess what? It's Christmas Eve today. Tomorrow is Christmas, looking forward to that. And then on Boxing Day, we're going to Maine for five days and we're going, well, we're planning to visit a few um, antique and vintage, antique vintage shops. Uh, and hopefully I'll find those missing coffee um, glass, pieces. glass pieces. Yeah, the one uh, that sits at the top and the other one, actually we've got the one that sits at the bottom but we might find um, some other interesting pieces as well.